Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Hudu technical developer so in today's video we are going to talk about how to create a record in Hudu database using XML RPC so first of all we will just uh, create a simple record uh, using uh, XML RPC so we have already discussed how to read the data how to read uh, the different fields from the Hudu database so here we just need to uh, create a partner record which will return an IET which is the integer so first of all uh, we need to use the same uh, endpoint uh, to create the record so we need to add these three parameters and then the model name where we want to create the record and then we need to add the method name so the method name in this case is create which will create the records and these are all the attributes that will be uh, used uh, to create the record okay so uh, if I execute this method and then let me print partner ID okay so let me run this uh, file here we got uh, 43 so it created a new partner in our database so let me just check it uh, partners and new partner okay new partner so here it is it has been created with a name new partner we just added the new partner and its id is 43 if you can see the url okay and then uh, we can just create some uh, other transaction record like in most cases you don't uh, like in api calls you just uh, don't need, need you just don't create simple partner records or products uh, but uh, there can be some transaction data like uh, to sync the sales orders that sync the invoices from the other um, applications into Udo. So for this purpose, oh, what you can do is uh, like to create. Uh, so for example, if you go to the invoices, uh, if I create uh, an invoice, so it requires to update the invoice uh, customer and then the date and then the invoice lines. So uh, in order to update the invoice lines, uh, we have to use some special uh, specific uh, pattern. So let me just uh, for example remove this uh, code and here uh, let me just try to create um, an invoice which is one product so the like the code that we need to use are uh, to create uh, uh, to create an invoice will be same but uh, we just need to uh, add some different parameters so uh, like in this case we just need to add some different parameters according to the model so if you go to the invoice we have customer so a customer model technical name is partner id so we need to pass the partner id uh, so here in this case which is partner id so i don't know what is the partner id so uh, here i can just uh, add stated like uh, 43 is the id of the partner but um, i will just get the data from the database and then I will uh, like um, I will update it so uh, in order to get the data what I will do is to get uh, to use this method this will return partner ID okay and here I don't need to use the offset I will just need to use uh, okay limit I want to return just only uh, 10 records and uh, here it will return partner IDs okay so in this case I want to create uh, like the invoice for one uh, for the first partner so I will just get the first partner like this so it will be invoice ID okay and then uh, the second parameter I want to pass is uh, something like reference you can say this is the reference is the technical name is ref so here I can add like uh, invoice created with XML RPC okay and then we need to pass uh, something like uh, invoice uh, lines so in the invoice lines we need to first find the technical name of this invoice lines field which is invoice line IDs so here we need to add invoice line IDs but uh, here the format will be specific so like in case of one to many field you need to use this specific format to uh, create a record like uh, to create some invoice 
so here we will add invoice line ids which is many one to many field and here we need to add like list and then uh, tuple and here we need to add zero and zero and so let me just uh, go to the next line and zero and zero and then here we need to add the values so the values will be first is the product so the technical name for the product is product id and let me just edit product id but here i don't know what is the product id in Udo, so i will have to get the product id here also so let me just add uh, something like first retrieve the product ids from the database so just turn the card let just remove this uh, search and here we need to use uh, the model should be replaced with product dot product which is the product model and it will return the product id so we just need to create a uh, one line so here we will use product ids as zero okay and then uh, we need to pass like the quantity the technical name for the quantity is uh, quantity and then the price uh, which is price unit okay quantity like we want to add 10 and then price unit is uh, 100 so the rest of the fields will be calculated automatically like the subtotal and the total okay so let me just uh, execute this uh, code and then uh, let's see the result so here we got an error message uh, so what is the error message uh, invalid field partner id on model uh, partner okay okay so uh, here i have made a mistake like here the model needs to be uh, in account that move which is the invoice model okay this is the uh, invoice model is account dot move and here i need to pass one mandatory parameter which uh, differentiate the invoice from other uh, records like if you go to the action here you will see invoice type is out, out invoice so here in this case we need to pass uh, like type is out invoice so there are like uh, some other types which is uh, out invoice in invoice out refund out in refund okay and uh, also uh, you can say there is a journal entries which is uh, of type move okay and hit this comma and let me execute this file again Okay, run this file again. Uh, so we got an other error. Uh, what is this error for? Okay, let me just check if everything is okay. So I have made a mistake here, which is it should be product ID. Okay, uh, so here uh, it has created uh, the invoice. So let me check it in here. Here you can see it has created the invoice with this invoice invoice created with XML RPC get a payment terms added automatically so this one product added and quantity hundred price subtotal and total okay so in this case we just added only one product so if you want to create multiple invoices with adding multiple products so what we can do here in this case we have to uh, like uh, create a for loop for this okay so first of all uh, i will just create uh, a variable with invoice uh, values which will be a list so in this list i will have to append all the uh, uh, invoices values so for example i will go through each uh, partner uh, in partner ids and i will update the values uh, like this so for example uh, invoice value dot uh, so for example i will update uh, invoice a value uh, is equal to like this and here i need to add a partner id which is a partner id like this partner and then uh, i need to add the reference which is uh, like invoice created from xml rpc 
okay these are the just two parameters that we need to pass for the time being and then uh, i need to pass the product okay so in order to get at the products uh, let me just uh, add it just at the top like this and we need to add another for loop which will go uh, through each product and we will add this each product to the lines okay for a uh, line for product in products okay and here uh, okay here we need to add like um, a invoice lines okay which will be a list okay and invoice lines are dot append we can say and here we need to add uh, the parameters like product id which will be product the same like quantity which is uh, 10 in this case and uh, price unit which uh, is 100 in this case okay and then uh, we need to append uh, we need to update this invoice a uh, value uh, invoice value update it with our uh, invoice lines like invoice line ids which is the technical name of the field which i uh, explained to you just some time before uh, and here we need to add this invoice line okay and here we just forgot one thing we need to add this zero zero okay like zero and zero okay like this and then comma and then we need to add this invoice lines here okay so this will become like um, the invoice lines so this will uh, update this list so we need to append it with this one invoice values dot append invoice value okay and then we need to pass this invoice values a list uh, here so for example if you go here and check the api so here you can pass the list of values okay so you, if you want to create multiple invoices uh, you can just do it okay so we need to pass the list of values like this invoice values it is the list of values so let me just print uh, this here first in order to uh, understand this better so and let's just comment it that it does not create uh, the invoice so let me run this uh, so here you can see it is a list of values so partner id is this reference is this and then invoice lines and then the next invoice okay so it will just uh, look like this and then just uncomment it and what will it return it will return the invoice ids print invoice ids okay and one thing i will add something different like xmlrpc multiple invoices okay so that we can differentiate it with the one we have already created okay so let me execute this file and we got an error what is the error uh, quantity product id partner id which is fine price unit okay fine so let me check the error uh we're given two positional argument invoice values Okay, let me try it again so here we can see it has created these invoices like with these ids it returns uh, it and let me check it so let me check it so okay so we have made one mistake so here you can see you don't uh, you cannot see these invoices because we have not added the type here so we need to add the type like out invoices Okay. out invoice not invoices okay we need to add a comma here and then just like run this file so 
it has just created the invoices again 23 to 32 okay so let me refresh the page here you can see seven invoices and if you refresh the page you can have 17 invoices so all the invoices has been created with all the products has been added here with all the prices and quantities so this is how you can create uh, invoices and the same way you can create the sales order where you can update the many to many fields and all the relational field one to many fields and then the date fields okay so this is how you can create the records using xml rpc and uh, in the next video uh, we will uh, discuss how you you can update the records like uh, uh, like once the create the record is created and if there is any change that you want to update it then uh, we will uh, discuss in the next video so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get the updates of uh, such videos and uh, you don't uh, miss such videos Thank you.